this is Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 15 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. It is finally time, you know. Oh my god, these two are gonna switch, and I think this is gonna be something that really is probably gonna make me laugh like a lot. Like, oh god, probably as much as, um, Laura and Rami do's like <laughs> day with them together <laughs> and we had the pretty cure song in it in the episode that was the best episode of Hokuto oh Good at it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Mm, so that's how it happened. Welcome to Freaky Friday, Pretty Cure Edition. Oh my god, she looks so cute with glasses! I'm already loving this episode. Oh my god. Like, let's go. Yes. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's so adorable already. But yeah, I, I swear to god, if this episode does like a moment where I hear like the pretty cure song in the episode, I will die because nothing will freaking trump or top that episode of freaking Hug Till Pretty Cure. Where you freaking had Remy and Lulu <laughs> together, and then you then you oppose you here, pity you. <laughs> and I was like, "What is this episode?" Oh my god, I don't remember the number, but it was it was way 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 before um those two were established to be the final two heroes of the series and such. But it had to be at least before episode twenty or twenty five, whenever like the final cure does pop up and such. Because that episode, the day that aired, that had me rolling, laughing so freaking hard because that ish was so freaking funny. I could not take anything that Ramido and Lulu did together seriously in that episode because, of course, Ramido, or uh, no, Emido, Ramido, mm -hmm. Ramido from Idol Master, guys, Emido <laughs> freaking just wanted to be the pretty, pretty girl for the longest time, baby. Like, oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you can't go in there, babe. Well, because you're human now. Honestly, I don't know. Uh -huh. I got like a song on.
Don't worry, y'all find out the truth in the field. You gotta love the fact how, like, freaking Middleton is finally, like, adjusting how to, like, use the aqua part as Laura. I mean, cause, like, I thought she was gonna have. Well, she's kinda struggling with it, but she's got it. Yeah, where are your glasses? <laughs> Is right. Mm. I mean, at least you're trying your best. Oh, damn. Well, I think she kind of meant to do that, but oh god, what if it just takes her in the ocean? She. This is my dream, like, all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need right behind you guys, but... <laughs> I know, you might as well just go ahead and tell them about what the heck is currently going on between you two. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh. Oh my god, she looks sick. Once again, Freaky Friday in a nutshell. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of them lip balms. Because I think, like, what right now the most expensive one is officially gonna be Laura's. 
Because hers is probably like a thousand yen, so like ten dollars. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Monatsu, we don't have time for this. Well, I mean, you both hit the aqua pot at the same time. Yeah. Get in the aqua pot, hurry! Oh, the mermaid bed. See, y'all gonna make me get wanted to play Animal Crossing again just to get, you know, make one of my rooms or my entire house into a castle and let me be a freaking mermaid princess. Like, oh. No, I don't think so, but he'll only be like this for an episode. <laughs> no, well, remember, you both touched the aquapod at the same time, so... I guess you just have to do it again and then go from there. Oh, Chris, that sounds so good. You know what I really wanted? And <laughs> I should have got this while we were out, but because I even asked my mom, I was like, I want iced coffee. I have been craving iced coffee, but like, oh. I want a really good, like, a cappuccino or a frappuccino or a frappe. Like, oh my god. I've been craving that so bad. See, biggest thing is I kind of want to know, like, how Laura is going to be when she transforms into papaya. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cause we just we we you know what no nah, mm, this is her um <laughs> this is her um uh, her pre fight before she actually becomes a pretty girl because by the end of this month like her stuff and her transformation will be here and your girl might go ahead and just buy this dang thing this month because I really want it I'm choosing between otaku sense candles that I really want. Doing two more pulls and Benzeri for one of my my number one best girl who won't come home or the freaking toy. And I really want the toy. Because of course I gotta log into my Amazon Japan account and buy it. Mm-hmm. 
We need a meteorine. Laura. <laughs> You can't transform! Only Laura can transform as you! She can't! Which means the aquapod isn't going to be able to be used by me or in itself. Baby, you look like Detective Conan. Let's go. Oh my God. I need more episodes like this. Like, oh my God. One, because this was fun to see, you know, having Mirarin be Laura for an episode and have Laura be Mirarin because I think that's a really interesting case episode honestly an idea so you know good on you tall animation like yes let's go give me some more ideas like that you know hey let's go i mean mm. Honestly, she, every single week, makes me want to have a papaya, and I've never had one before. And I've heard they're really good. Hmm? <laughs> That's how I feel when I wake up late. <laughs> I really want a croissant some coffee at 7 o'clock at night. <sighs> please let me find like an anime shop down in Orlando when I go on my vacay, please. Would like to go. Mm. 
I mean, yeah, you are in your own special way, but, like, I mean, <laughs> you're not, like, you know, Manatsu. Well, yeah, because Manatsu is on a whole different level. You want legs. Mm -hmm. You can just tell on her face that she wants legs. That she wants more. Nice job, Mirai. <laughs> well, yeah. This was a sweet episode. Oh my god, I just need more like this. Like, oh, God, I mean, honestly, the episodes are going strong. Like, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. and I love that. Unlike, you know, a certain series that, you know, mm, has my least favorite cure in it. Because, you know, there were like, mm, out of the 49 episodes, that series, maybe like 10 of them were interesting when it wasn't about her. I'm just saying, because like, oh. I'm so mean. Like, oh my god. Like, no offense to people who like that cure. I, it just once again, as I've said every time, I can't stand her now. I, I loved her in the beginning, but, you know, mm, god, like, she just ruined the experience for me in that show. And I think if I ever really watched that series again, I probably would just skip over any scene that she had, which would majority be, like, almost the whole episode, because she's in every freaking episode, so oof main character but yeah honestly having a freaky friday-esque episode and having mirorin and laura switch bodies for a day and to see mirorin you know be happy about swimming in the, uh, in the ocean and being a mermaid for one episode was interesting as hell having like laura be able to use mirorin's body and walk with actual legs was interesting and of course it's something that laura is extremely um jealous of to the fact is that you know Four of our girls are, are human, and Laura's a mermaid, so she doesn't really get to have that connection often. Up until, you know, we get to that point, because we are getting closer and closer to that when, when she's officially going to be a dang pretty girl. Because she wants legs. Damn it, Laura. Laura. Oh, Jesus, Laura. <laughs> I, I get it. I really do. Oh, my God. Another one of many reasons why she's my best girl. Because I think we all have that, like, experience or moment where, um, essentially, like, if our friends have, like, these, this really interesting talent and we kind of wish that we have it too. And we'll, so we're kind of jealous of them. And it, and it is true because she is jealous of them. And the fact is that, yes, all four of them get to hang out together, but they can only hang out with Laura when it's, like, just the five of them alone in the club room or when they go to the beach or something like that. Because if Laura is out somewhere and someone sees her tail, like, everyone's going to freak out about it. So, of course, she has the right to feel left out, one, and also feel jealous, too, because, of course, you can see it all over her face. And then you're going to sit here and wonder why she's reading The Little Mermaid. It's because she wants legs. She wants to be able to walk to school with you guys and hang out with you and do this, this, that, and the third. It's very similar to what CL when she was a fairy and how um, when she was going back between being a human and being a fairy, especially when we had moments where um, our, fa uh, our fave... <laughs> Our five main characters would go to two different schools because, of course, like, two were in high school and the three are, like, junior and stuff like that. 
um, she felt left out that she didn't get to go and hang out with them, especially usually with sometimes being that final cure coming into the show. Like we can, how we can talk about Toa, um, when she came in and go princess, of course the dynamic was like hella off with Toa because Toa is a princess and the rest of the girls are, uh, I hate to say peasants, but yeah, I mean, they're just normal everyday girls. And so even though like Toa is like high up on the food chain and everything, um, and how she was doing, you know, her very princess privilege attitude ish, which I love because, you know, we all going to be that type of person. We all are probably like that and such. But at the same time, she learned how to be a regular human being even though you are a princess and such. And and it's the same thing for Laura. And I, and I hate the fact that she's going to get captured probably oh so easily next week because of the fact that she is so upset and gung-ho and maybe even a little bit depressed about the fact that she, she can't have legs. And so something might happen to the point where she might sacrifice something because, of course, let's talk about The Little Mermaid once again because, of course, Ariel sacrificed her voice for freaking legs and ish. Um... But I don't know, like, because I'm still wondering how they're going to do it. Because we are very close to the point where she is going to turn into a cure. So it's just like, okay, how are we going to do this for, like, the next few weeks? Because I think by the end of this month, she'll officially be um, the final cure and everything. Because I love freaking outfit. I just, I want the toy. The toy comes out on, like, I think, what, this week in Japan? So I think... I think they said it was coming out either the 13th or the 19th. So if I want this thing, I need to pre-order it. I SVP. Like, and I do. I mean, because, like, they want... They want 4,000 something yen. And then one, almost two, almost, yeah, almost 2,000 yen. But it's 1,000. 1,997 yen for shipping. Um, so I'll be paying about like 50 something bucks for it. And I don't, like I said, I don't remember how much I paid for like the sweets pack deluxe. I think I paid about 30 to $40, um, for it, but that was when it was on Hobby Link Japan. And so I've been checking Hobby Link Japan, like I was for a time, but Hobby Link Japan only really has like dolls and a little, not like the little figures that, um, you can't pose, but, like, the, the cute little figures where you can, like, dress them up in the pretty ears and in, like, regular clothes and stuff like that. But, um, of course, like, if you want to buy something from Japan, Amazon Japan is the way to go. Because <laughs> once, once somebody told me, like, I think, was it last year, um, that you could buy it from Amazon Japan and they can ship it to you. And I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> like, do you know how much anime stuff I can buy you? Like, oh, like, mm. But, like, yeah. I just really want Laura's transformation uh, mermaid aquapat thing because it's so pretty <laughs> and it's it's all, like almost like a it's like a gun in a way, but it's cute and I want it like so bad. Like uh, mm -hmm, we're getting it, we're gonna get it. Mm -hmm, I know I am. I just gotta see because my other stuff should be coming in this week. But yeah, like this episode was really interesting. I just want to see more. More like it. I mean, seriously, once again, the high points of this series is that the episodes are really, really good every single week. I don't think there's been an episode that has gone into, like, the poor. So, um, you know, we probably ain't even there yet. But, you know, hey, maybe that poor episode might be good as well. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 15 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday for episode 16. Bye, guys.